My name is Martin Schifkowitz and I'm the director of Austria Jam Limited. Coming from the tourism sector, I came originally as a chef to Jamaica and I saw the need for consistent supply for good quality and good average price. Uh, and therefore I said I have to start a business on my own and now 14 years later we have grown to the largest uh, watermelon and fresh produce producer on this island right with uh, over 50 farmers who are contract farmers with us and over 150 acres on our own farm. I just started buying and selling from farmers but then over the years now I realized that we also have to invest in our own production and we, we actually uh, outgrow from a storage facility of a small 40 foot container and we're reaching now to a f facility which is 10 times bigger than where we started and you know the consistent supply and the, and the production made a big change mm -hmm. and the demand has been growing. How does storage play into the consistency of supply of the supply chain? You know because we constantly faced in our sector sometimes with the excessive amount of production and the limited amount of, of produce, so it's always an up and down. That is the mo one of the most important things to have good storage where we can store our produce in order to close certain gaps, in order to be able to supply consistently. And the market has to appreciate that. And I think storage is one of the triangles of successful farming, you know? You have the production, you have the, the storage, and you have the logistic to do the delivery. I have heard many establishments that take farming product from the Jamaican farmers complain about some of the challenges that they face, getting the product on time for one and spoilage. Well, they... I could say to them, they maybe choose the wrong supplier or the wrong farmer, but there are a lot such as Austrocham, who is a consistent supplier with good quality. Most of the time, those people are always complaining who are not willing to work with certain companies and certain farmers on a long-term basis. They're just mm -hmm. chasing the cheapest price. Winning two times the National Champion Farm Award, I have been touring all over the island in the past. And I can tell you, our Jamaican farmers are the greatest good what we have in Jamaica. I don't think we spend as much time to really appreciate the hard work what our agricultural sector and the farmers really are able to accomplish. We always hear a lot of outside people outside of the sector commenting about what is the agricultural sector doing wrong. But what we really need is that we need the support where we say what we do right. So I'm all for agriculture. We don't talk agriculture, we live agriculture. And I know many, many farmers in Jamaica who do the same thing. So I want to compliment to all Jamaican farmers and we are on the right path. Everything takes some time because we have a saying, what comes easy always goes fast. So Jamaica farmers, we take our time. A melon takes around three months to grow. A, a pineapple takes a year to come. So it's just not a one-off thing. We have to have the consistent grow. And I'm saying I'm all for contract farming as well, which is also a key to grow the long-term growth of agriculture. Any plans to go into agro-processing? Uh, in processing, we're doing peanut at the, at the moment right now too. We started in the peanut packaging. Um, but as I say, everything takes little time. So we don't want to really chase certain things, but maybe next five years from now you come and we have also addition to our product line where we can launch something again. The beauty between Austria and Jamaica is that Austria has a lot of things in common like in Jamaica because the area where we are in St. Elizabeth is a mainly dominated farming community. Austria, where I'm coming from, is a, is a huge community of farming as well. So I saw a lot of patterns and similarities between Austria and Jamaica, right? We don't determine, and I have never looked how we look or what we are. It's all about what we think about agriculture. And, you know, farming and producing produce, and we can sell it to the, to the local people as well as to the tourist market with our beautiful sunshine in Jamaica being able to produce all year round, there's no better opportunity than Jamaica. Did you face any resistance from the local farmers tapping into their... You know, automatically, you know, I think this is a, a human nature automatically when you come as an outsider originally and trying to do something what other people have been doing and you're trying to make a different approach to it, you will always face certain challenges. But the challenges over the years 
have actually motivated me and I found people who actually supported me. But I wouldn't pick that out to be a challenge only in Jamaica. It would be the same way if maybe a Jamaican come to Austria and he would face the same challenges. But determination is the key. And now that I'm a Jamaican citizen, uh, I'm one of Jamaica. Indeed. My message to the wider farmer community is continue farming, don't give up, don't be discouraged by the by the negative news sometimes which is said about this agricultural sector. Continue to farm. Our Jamaica have the greatest opportunity to farm anything, but be wise what you farm, farming at the right time. Look for a market first before you farm and also know your expenses and then there is nothing what can stop you.